Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com with match number two with Scred Red. These are the type of hands that make Scred. I'm going to keep it. We have a Volcanic Fall. It's good versus a number of decks, but you never want to see Double Cough. Um, and for the, just the four mountains kind of makes it weak. That is why I, 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 I tend not to like... Well, now we, I love the Volcanic Fall, but Scred has some very awkward hands. I, I tend to just like Soul Sisters. I think it's just more of a... Um, a more well-rounded deck, like, you have a better average starting hand, I would say, on Soul Searchers than Scred. Scred, you have these unbelievably powerful hands, and you can hate out a bunch of cards. Did he really just flip his Delver, blind-flipped it? Ugh. Well, I don't know if I'm going to race a Delver, a blind flip Delver, but, uh, anyway... Scred can have these weird, like you need a finisher and get all removal spells, or you, you get all finishers and no removal spells type hands. Uh, this is kind of an awkward hand. We have double Anger of Gods, double Volcanic Fallout. I don't run a, a Volcanic Fallout into a Vapor Snag. Well, I can make a Vapor Snag back. I hope it just overextends here. Puts out like a young Pyromancer and like another Delver here, and then I'll be very happy. But usually what Delver does is now he's just he has his threat out, he's just gonna try to temple me out. Alright. Um yeah, well, I love that play. Because we can just volcanic fall out. And yeah, he can he can definitely send back his Pyromancer. I just don't I don't think I care. With a Vapor Snag. That's still a lot of... Yeah, we get a two-for-one in here. That's why I still like Volcanic Fallout. It beats these type of decks. I could see him Vapor Snagging back the Pyromancer. But we're going to get a Delver. We're going to get one of them for sure. He's got double Vapor Snags. Hate for him to throw out another young pyromancer. That wouldn't be terrible though, because we could, well, we can anger it. All right, so it is another young pyromancer. So unless he's got really nothing here, we can anger off. I could go Koth, and I don't think Koth is the right play because he just bounces my land. And he will vapor snag it. All right, that's fine. Chandra flame caller, if we can actually stick, is going to be very, very powerful. Now remand with young pyromancer is a very good little draw. We have a scrying sheets here. Uh, we could we could definitely cough and force him to use like a remand. I think this is the the better play. I don't feel like Young Pyromancer is okay. So the remand, yes, we get the remand out of the way. That's what I wanted to see, and we're gonna take some damage here on turn number two uh, on this turn. Three damage, probably. But if we can stick the anger... Ah, now he's got a Gitaxian probe, though. He needs to find, like, a Snapcaster remand. We need to draw into a Volcanic Fallout. And I'm sure, like, Cryptic Command Mana is up. Scred will be nice. We can scred off. Well, we'll anger. And see if he cryptics. Snapcaster. Scred it right now. And now he has to decide. He has a vapor snag on his young pyromancer. 
And I can't... He'll be able to remount. Oh, remount's not that not as good, though. He gets to do some damage. But if he doesn't have an answer for it next turn... I, I'm, I'm taking five, and he could just have bolt, bolt, bolt in his hand. Let's see if it's a cryptic command. No, okay, so we hit here. And now he's got to put the young pyromancer out again. And we can Chandra's Flame Collar to kill it. So he might be okay. We've taken care of quite a few of his his threats, but it's just a matter of time before electrolyzes and, and bolts get us. Why I don't know understand why. He knows what I have in my hand. I don't understand why he's throwing out both of them. And we do get lucky and get a, a mountain out of the way. Now we can do both here, Koth and um, Chandra, which I'm going to do. And if it's just a reman, I'm just dead. Either way, I would have died. This adds a ton of mana in my mana pool. Uh, six, I could go for another cough and ramp up even more. And then I can get past a remand. Because I'd have I'd have another cough, which would allow another six. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this. And we'll keep this cough. Now we have eight. And I think we're going to do it one more time. But I still can't, don't think we can go past a remand. Oh, yes, we can. But we still have to race those, those bolts. So if he remands it, we just bring it back to our hand and cast it again. He can't mana leak it. So the, the cough, cough just being used is like a very expensive, desperate... All right, well, that worked out very well for us. Unless he's got a Snapcaster into turn, which he doesn't. We've killed two young Pyromancers, a Delver, or three young Pyromancers, a Delver, and a Snapcaster. He's going to Thought Scour me, and he hits a Chandra's Pyromancer and a Scred. There's a Goblin Dark Dwellers, which is really good. Can't do a lot. I could go Volcanic Fallout if... So, we're going to... So, four... I don't want to hit run into a Lightning Bolt. I think we just have to... We need five, so I can't scrying sheets, can I? Nope, not quite. So it goes to a one. I 
And we'll Goblin Dark Dwellers. Now, if he does have a Lightning Bolt, I think that we... We tie here? Is that how this works? He can Mana Leak it. And... I kind of want to keep this hand, land in hand here. Yeah, I, I should have I played that and then Scrying Sheeted. Now, we don't want to keep lands in hand because Chandra's plus zero is really good. So, what can you do in a turn? Vendillion Click? Targeting me? He's going to target himself. So, so Vendillion Click was incredibly powerful if he has a bolt in hand. He needs to draw another card. And see if he does have a bolt or electrolyze his last two cards. We haven't seen one yet, so you gotta assume it's in there. And there it is. Alright, so close game. That mana leak was was rough. And we'll go on to the sideboard. I'm surprised we were able to come back as well as we were. This should be an easy matchup, though. We have a lot of Screds and Lightning Bolts and Nangers and everything like that. I think all these stay in. I don't bring in Molten Reigns. We can take out the Blood Moons if he's just he's just UR Delver. I do not believe that I bring in um, Dragon's Claw, but I think that Sun Droplet is incredible. Maybe we do bring in one or... Yeah, I just don't think there's enough reason. It might just be better than a Molten Rain. Yeah, I think a Dragon's Claw is just better than a Molten Rain. But we do want Relic, Pyrus, Bell Bomb, Screds, Lightning Bolts, Mind Stones, Angers, Volcanics. These are the, the, the meat and the potatoes of the deck. And... I think just a Sun Droplet and a Dragon's Claw is fine over the Blood Moons. Could be running the new land out of Oath of the Gatewatch that swaps power and toughness. But I think that, I don't think it's worth bringing any hate in for that either. And we'll submit this. So I have a Dragon's Claw. I think this is a very good hand. This is, yeah. We'll go first turn, Snow-Covered Mountain, and we can bolt off a Delver. We have a Dragon's Claw, which actually, now that I'm looking at it, I cast a lot of red spells, of course. Yeah, Dragon's Claw probably needs to be mainboarded. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what we'd take out, though, at this point. But Volcanic Fallout is, is the key card versus our opponent. You cannot counter. It's de it. This just completely destroys Delver. Uh, we'll go a Mind Stone here. Pass turn. So we've hit all of our land drops nicely. We've got some nice ramp through Mind Stone. He hasn't cast anything yet. I mean, he could, he could go Mana Leak or Remand. We had Koth here. I don't think we need to. I'm, I'm tempted just to Scrying Sheet's past turn and make him pull the trigger on tapping out Mana. Yeah, I think that's the right play. I don't want to run into Mana Leak or Remand. And we have tons of action with the scrying sheets and the the lightning bolt we just got to play the patient game here so there's the young pyromancer i think i will bolt it make him use Oh, he doesn't use anything. That's perfect. And then Scrying Sheets. And now I can Koth. I don't... Yeah, he could have a Spell Pierce in his, in his hand. But I think we just run out Koth.
he bounces him out and I can just replay it. Oh, he does have a spell pierce. Wow. Okay. Tons of counter magic mana leak spell pierce. Remands. We have a backup cough. There's a young pyromancer. Love to hit a land here. Relic is fine. We'll relic. And I'm just going to be patient here with the Volcanic Fallout. See if an attorney does a lot of things. I don't know when I need to use it. I'd rather just use the Scrying Sheets if he's just going to attack in for two. We're not in any, any hurry here. It's a Chandra. So he didn't hit our land again. And we'll pass the turn. He will bolt me. I think again we just take the damage. Yes, I think I do. Because I had, would once again just like to... <laughs> well, now it can safely... Exile Graveyards. So we have the backup relic. And there we have a, a mountain. So I think what we'll do here is we'll Dragon Claw. Try to bait out a counter spell. He doesn't care about it. And we will we need, do need to use a volcanic fault now. He has three cards in hand. The Shonda's Flame Caller can just can take care of a backup young pyromancer or backup Delver. We'll gain a life off of it. He has again three cards. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Vapor Snag on his Young Pyromancer. We have a Scred backup now, so now we can just chuck out the Relic. Keep eating up his Graveyard. And we will just sit tight be patient, let our opponent flood out like he's doing, or eventually we'll be able to... Oh yeah, our poor guy is definitely flooding out. Uh, but as long as we have value off the scrying sheets, we haven't hit yet with it. There we go. We'll start getting advantage off of it. There's another Mind Stone. We will put it out. And just pass the turn. No point running into a cryptic. No point running into anything here. Finds another land. Keep eating away that graveyard. And hopefully getting lands off the top of our library. Yes, awesome. I don't think we need to sack a Mind Stone quite yet. There's a Bolt. 
make him eat the pyromancer don't know if there's anything you can get it back anyway i don't think there is and pass the turn So our opponent will cast a Serum Visions. And at our end step... We'll look at the top card. It's a Mind Stone. We'll draw a card. I'm going to draw another card with the Mind Stone. I want to hit Land Drops here. And a Sun Droplet. So now we hit a Land Drop, which is great. And I'll Sun Droplet. Which is another annoying card for our opponent to deal with. Thought Scour Me finds an Anger in a Chandra. I'm going to make him exile. The Serum Visions or the Thought Scare are both very good. And we will put out a Mind Stone. And then pass the turn. We got the Scred and the Lightning Bolt. And can still use the Scrying Sheets. Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I don't want him to have another card. <laughs> That's fine. He's going to bolt me. But it's, it puts counters on the Sun Droplet, too. So if he Snapcaster bolts Snapcaster, that's fine. Because it's only doing two damage. We'll scred it. Highly doubt it counters a scred. He'll probably just psych away the Mind Stone. Okay, sure. He <laughs> remands a scred. Still gives me a life. Goes to I go to a 7. Put some more counters on our, our Sun Droplet. And we find another Scrying Sheets. Uh, we will throw out the Scrying Sheets. Scred our guy, our opponent. Snapcaster Mage. And again, I'm just going to pass the turn. No point to... Playing out anything here. So I think now we can 
Um, throw out Koth. I'm sure it'll be cryptic. Snapcaster remand. We'll bolt off the Snapcaster. And he'll vapor snag it. And that way he can remand. And we'll cast him again. And he might Snapcaster Vapor Snag. Which is fine, we lose life. But it uses his other snap his other snapcaster. And we'll gain a life here. And now he's got attack into Koth. Gotta play a little bit faster. We are getting low on time. And I still have to go to another game if I even win this one. But I'm pretty sure there's not much our opponent can do. He has to attack into Koth, with, which means that he's not doing damage to me, which means Sundrop continues to gain me a ton of life. I'm surprised. Yeah, he's going to redo that to Koth. Good news is now we're ahead in time, which is so relevant in this. And he will redirect the damage to Koth. But that's another bolt that needs to go to my face. And he'll he will scoop here, because I'll bolt. I'd actually bolt off him at that point, and it's a hard time. It's gonna have a hard time dealing with the Goblin Dark Dweller. So what is the weak link in it here? I guess that Dragon's Claw actually does seem pretty decent. He is an aggro based strategy, so maybe if we bring them all in. But is it just better than like Angers and and I'm gonna say no, it's not. And Thunder Maw. Can't really clear. It can kill Vend uh, Vendelion Clicks, which I think is amazing. So, I, I don't believe we bring in the the, the Dragon's Claws. I do think that Sun Droplet's better, and then Dragon's Claws at an afterthought. We bring it in instead of like a Mind Stone or an Anger of Anger of Gods, but they both prove very very good. So even though Dragon Claw would want to be in here, I don't think we we need it. I guess instead of a Mind Stone. Now, I want to be ramping, for sure. Better than a Chandra Pyromaster? Better than a Relic? I'm going to keep in... T I'm going to take out two mines, so it's keeping two Dragon's Claws. Maybe all of them. Maybe this, this is a match where Dragon's Claws is very, very good. I kick myself if I need a Mind Stone and I'm stuck with a Dragon's Claw, but... I don't know. This seems fine. Well, here's a, here's a perfect example. I'm going to keep it. But if this was a mindstone, it would be a little bit better. 
If we get stuck on three lands. Volcanic Fault is a definite keep. He has a first turn Delver, which if it flips on its own, it's going to be very, very rough. Uh, we have the... Oh yeah, this ends up being great though. Do not flip, Delver. And it does flip. See the Young Pyromancer's here. No Young Pyromancer. I am taking three. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to use a fast Volcanic Fallout. All right, perfect. This is going to be beautiful with Volcanic Fallout. And the Dark Dwellers uh, flashing back Volcanic Fallout will be huge. He'll be... I wanted him to get very greedy here and throw out another, like, Pyromancer. But just taking the 5 damage here is fine. And Volcanic Fallouting him. Yeah, he's going to shock probably for no reason. Uh, for, like, Remand is fine, but we will fall out. There's a Pirate Spellbomb. That's going to give us a backup answer versus his aggro. Or another card that can come out like a Snapcaster. Yes, I do want that. Surprised he doesn't... Why he's Thought Scouring me. I, I always... It's just more options if you Thought Scour yourself with Snapcaster Mage. Uh, these players... I see them do that all the time in these Delver, and even in Grixis Delve, that happens. But, I mean, it might not be relevant. Here comes the Volca Volcanic Fallout. Uh, we'll gain a life here. And we do have to take a, a damage as well. But so far, so good. Good taxing probe. Sees the pirate spell bomb. We can take care of another young pyromancer. I know he's got a remand in his hand. There's a scred. Beautiful card. We'll pirate spell bomb. I do have to worry about another young pyromancer. That is the, the tricky card. I'd love to draw a relic just to deal with his. It's gonna be a Pyankron Nalar, which is actually really bad. Um, we do need a another land though. So I don't know if I scred off the Pya. I, I think I just draw a card here. Try to hit a land. Ugh, that's not good. Um, I'm going to give myself one more turn to draw a land before I scred off the Pya. Mindstone's nice. That works-ish. Gives us a relic as well. No, we need to we need to scred first. Because if he's got the spell pairs. Very annoying though with the Pi and Crondalar. And now we can relic. If he wants to if he wants to counter the relic, that's fine. And he will. Okay. But we do have the lands for everything. These Thopters are going to be annoying. And he does have the Remand, I'm sure, in hand. But we will Dark... Oh, that's better than Dark Dwellers. So Mana Leaker Remand. But it's still giving us a life as well. And he's just going to try to temple me out. I need another Volcanic Fallout. If this deck gets bigger, that's what you run Volcanic Fallouts over. Oh, he just concedes. He doesn't have it. Wow. All right, that works out perfectly. 
I thought for sure there was a remand the way he was keeping up mana. But, yeah, another Dark Dwellers. Dark Dwellers also would have worked for Volcanic Fallout. Anyway, we will go on to the next match. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.